Congratulate yourself, baby. You are on the way to the next level. You have passed the damn test. You should be celebrating. You should be excited, okay? I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of all of the work you've put into yourself. I'm proud of you for all of the adversities that you've continued to go after, no matter how hard, no matter how challenging, no matter if you wanted to give in the damn towel, I am proud of you for showing up for yourself. I know that boss got on your nerves. I know your home situation was not the best. I know that your finances was probably in the gutter. I know that you have tried to treat people kindly and they have done nothing but spat in your face when you spoke up for yourself when you decide to set boundaries, when you decide to come from a place of love and compassion and wanting to help heal. I know that when you wanted to start that new dream and that project, you were like, I can't do it. You self-sabotaged yourself. You felt like the dreams that you wanted to achieve could not be done, okay? You felt like the money that you wanted to make could not be made. You felt like the love that you wanted to receive in friendships and within yourself and in romance, you couldn't have. And you maybe even felt like your healing would never be healed. Your traumas would never be healed. Your healing process would never heal. But baby, you're doing it. And you're doing it good and you look amazing, okay? This video was inspired by my own reflections of myself. I have been extremely vulnerable on here in the last couple of weeks, in the last month or so, and for those that are new here, go back and watch those videos if you like what you hear, you like this video, um, because it's just something that we sometimes, we gotta sit back and we gotta give ourselves the praise, the approval for all the things that we have done that you gotta understand, a lot of people don't wanna heal. A lot of people don't want to change you know, their life. A lot of people, the minute that they feel any bit of, being confronted with having to change, they're like, oh no, I ain't doing that. Mm -mm. You're not gonna tell me what I am and da, da 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 They'll throw that back on you, okay? How many of y'all have had like exes or parents or family members or friends or maybe even the workspace, you've tried to just talk to people about, hey, this is what bothered me or hey, you know, I would like to sit down and talk about this and these people don't want to do that, right? They'll throw everything back on to you. And this is just all to say that when you have grown and you're not reacting the same way, baby, that's growth. That's something to be worth congratulating, okay? And you are up next in your life. Everything that you have experienced up until this point, everything, all of the crazy stuff that you experience, it's all about to show you why all of it needed to happen. It's going to pay off. Baby, you're going to get not just the healing inside of yourself, not just the manifested blessings inside of you, but you're also going to receive so many blessings outside of you as well. Okay? And I've been telling myself, when these blessings come, these blessings are for me. They are not too big. You don't need to feel bad about having them because that's something that I felt. I have such a compassionate and like empathetic heart. And sometimes I want to share my blessings with other people. But I had to learn that there are certain people along this journey that do not deserve to sit at the table. There are certain people who don't deserve to take the selfies with you, who don't deserve to be on that trip with you, who don't deserve to celebrate and give you hugs and laugh and hang out with you when these blessings flow in. So congratulate yourself and you don't got to know what the blessings are. You know, I know a lot of us try to figure it out. I know a lot of us try to wonder what it is and whatever, whatever. What I was realizing with myself was so many things that I think the blessings are going to be is probably not going to be that at all. Okay. Because our brains are only so convincing of the future of what things could possibly be by what we've experienced in our past, right? So if you've been working hard for something and you've been doing a whole bunch of other things and nothing has worked, nine times out of the 10, those things that you were trying to work so hard to be 
probably not going to happen in those ways. Like it's not going to happen from those things. So just be open and be excited. And I'm just really excited. I'm really, 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 really excited because I'm just so proud of the person that I've become and the fact that I became this person. I just can't wait to see what comes from like my life. Like one of my fears was like not having the strength or the courage to get up and actually do the things that I said that I was going to do. And now I'm doing it. You know, getting up and taking care of myself. When two years ago, I wouldn't even be able to be in the car filming this video. I would have stayed in my room and did everything because I never wanted to leave my room because I was too depressed. And just seeing now, like, the last couple of days, y'all, I had some rage. I had a rage room session in this car, okay? I was screaming, hollering, mad, and I was pissed. I was like, this is not the life that I... I called in for myself at all. So I just want you to know, whoever's watching this video, that you are good enough right where you are. You are good enough right as you are. And don't allow negative people, especially just in your head. A lot of the times, yes, we can bump into negative people. They can say some shit here and there. But a lot of the times it's in our own heads, okay? So don't allow nobody in you know, your past any voices in this in your head to have you off course, okay? Have you thinking that it's, that it's not going to happen and whatever, whatever. Like, no, the good feelings that you feel is for you. And don't let negative people, people that you don't want their life, okay? A lot of the people, for me, what I realized, a lot of the folks that I was around, they had no hopes for themselves. You know, they gave up on themselves a long time ago. Don't allow that shit to ruin you, okay? A lot of people will be snarky. There'll be weird energy. When you start talking about your dreams, you start talking about your goals. I had to learn last year and this year to shut the F up. I had to learn to be quiet. I'm so quiet around people now, certain people, because I know that I don't need to expand my energy okay to the wrong folks so just you know keep yourself quiet when these blessings happen for you and i have to tell myself this because i'd be so ready to share with people but keep it quiet tell people that you know that in response they will give you good um they will rejoice with you they will give you good feedback is what i was trying to say people that you know you feel safe with if there's anybody in your life that you feel hesitant, even just an inch of hesitation, okay? And it's like a consistent inch of hesitation or your body feels weird around them, cut it off. Do not share anything with anybody that has not made you feel internally well or good in supportive of you, okay? Be very mindful who you share your blessings with. You know, some of the greatest people that I've watched that I'm inspired by, a lot of them keep things on the hush and a lot of them don't have nobody really around them like that. And that's me. <laughs> I don't got a whole lot of friends, but the friends that I do have, baby, we like this, okay? And they have never been people who have teared me down or tried to say some weird shit on a repetitive uh, basis, Okay. So that's just really important, all right? You are up next. Your time is up next. You are winning, baby, and that's all you need to know. And you need to rejoice in that and feel good about that. And when I know, like, the self-sabotage, um, the self, what is it called? Just the imposed thoughts of, like, you're an imposter, um, all of those type of feelings, like, you can't really have that. Like, who do you think you really are to have that? Like, if you get that, you need to share that with, you know, this person and that person and everybody else. You don't owe anyone anything. And this is something to tell myself. Like, Tyson, you do not own, you do not owe no one a damn thing. And I really want my people pleasers, my empathic earth to really realize you don't owe anyone anything for the blessings that are coming into your life. These are for you. I heard I, I heard, or I read something that said that when you have a conversation between you and God or you and the universe or ancestors or whatever you want to call it, 
it's not a conference call. It is a private meeting. And I thought that was so funny to me because I was like, yes, like it is not a conference call. The blessings that we get, sometimes we're so kind hearted. Sometimes we want to be considerate of other people. But you got to ask yourself, when was the last time these people were considerate to you? Okay, so be mature about it. Be grown about it. And I mean this in like an emotional, spiritual way. You deserve everything with your name on it. It's not your mama's name. It's not your daddy's name. It's not your brother's name. It's not your friend's name. It's not your bestie's name. Like, I get it. We all want to make sure that the people that we love and we care for and have hearts for and compassion for to be at our table. But it's very important that you celebrate with people that truly are in a line with you the way your body feels. And this is just so big for me because I've always been such a compassionate person, a considerate person. I have always tried to be so grateful and so thankful for the people who really hurt me and stabbed me in the back and then acted like they didn't do it. So this is just something, again, like you are up next. You are going to be doing great things and... You don't got to do that with nobody else that is not in alignment with you. You don't got to share that with no one else but the people that stood up for you in your darkest times and held you up when you was feeling like you was going to be put down, okay? And so, yes, especially mentally, emotionally, financially, but those first two, if somebody lifted you up mentally and emotionally and spiritually over and over and over again, Celebrate with that person. Celebrate with those people. I want you to think about that. Who uplifted you when you were down mentally, when you were down emotionally? What friends can you pick out? What family members can you think about? What um, what strangers maybe on the internet, maybe you posted something and you have mutuals online that supported you. Those people, you want to keep around you when your wins come. Because guess what? When you celebrated their wins... That means that you have every right, every right to have your own win. And don't allow people either when you start getting your wins to try to have you concerned about things that you don't need to be concerned about. Literally, don't give them no energy. Just be like, okay, thank you for, you know, that interest. Thank you for, okay, that information. Okay. And you keep pushing. I'm telling y'all, we deserve to win. Okay. You've done enough healing. You've done enough growing. You've done enough of all of that. You've shaken off all the demons. You've removed all the fears. Now it's your time to win big, baby. Okay? So if you love this video, if you're here for the first time, welcome. I'm happy that you're here. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the tribe if you haven't been subscribed already. Make sure you like this video if you didn't like it. And leave your comments down below in the comment box section, whatever, because I love to hear from y'all. And also... All of my social media is down below in my description box for anybody that wants to connect with me outside of here because I have a lot of, you know, other stuff than just all this, like, healing and self-development stuff that I keep on the tube, okay? So, um, without further ado, I think that's it. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.